Das. Uh, uh, good afternoon, sir. My name is Pratim Das. Currently, I am a banker with the six ex years of experience in the banking industry. I am working currently working in the South Indian Bank. I joined in South Indian Bank in 2017 as a probationary clerk. I got my first promotion after two years in 2019. I, as an assistant manager, I work in the Hyderabad region in processing center where I need to process the, the personal loan and the vehicle loan. And currently I am in Kolkata and working as a regional sales manager for, for the unsecured loan, where I need to take care of the personal loan. And the bank has also uh, given the additional responsibility of the auto loan section also. Basically, I'm a field officer and need to bring business for the uh, bank. Uh, as my uh, education qualification, I have done my become honors and pass out in 2014. As my professional qualification, I have done my JIV and CIV both. Very good. Okay, Pritam, tell me <laughs> what are the IRAX norms? Uh, sorry, sir, which norms you are asking, sir? IRAC norms. You are telling that IRAC 4, that is become NPA, then D1, D2, D3, that is IRAC 5, IRAC 6. Have you ever gone through? What is NPA uh, management? Uh, no, sir, I uh, didn't uh, gone through these things. So actually, I know overall the, what is the SME and the uh, recovery structure. I do, uh, Though I am not working in the section, but uh, that some knowledge I have. Okay, so what is At the importance point. of what is the importance of PSS that is the pre-sanction inspection and post-sanction inspection? Why these PSS are very, very important after disbursement of any loan and pre-disbursement of any loan. Yes, actually, uh, is a pre-disbursement conditions are there some some loans or the in principle sanction might be banks uh, given sometimes. Uh, so if uh, when we are processing that loan, there might be uh, some uh, documents or some criteria whether the customer is not meeting, but it is a not a very, uh, very large or very, uh, what I tell, uh, this is not that very uh, important like that. So uh, before disbursement, bank had to need the compliance. All the compliance should be uh, properly maintained and this condition uh, should be made before disbursement. Then only the central team the open the loan account and the okay. disbursement. Okay, so, one uh, Honda City car you disbursed. Yeah. Right. So after disbursement, yes. does uh, auto loan post sanction verification is important? If so, why? Yes, the post sanction verification is a very much important. This is a post, -dis post disbursement data that I need to collect, like that the RC copy, like the insurance copy that we need to collect, and the centrally we need no, to. This insurance to copy, this, this insurance, this insurance copy, or this uh, uh, RC RC you can obtain in uh, offline or uh, uh, self attested to the customer also. Then why post sanction of car is important? You can also go, uh, cross check through Wahan dot NIC dot in. Then why car post sanction is important? So we can if check we in the online. It, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah, sir. We can check in the online on the Wahan app whether the customers all the credentials uh, everything is uh, okay or not. Whether the bank's name is showing in the hypothecation uh, these things or not. So, uh, uh, but we need to take this document as a self attested copy from the customer. So it is a very much important because if, if tomorrow that loans will become an NPA, so bank also need to take a stand against the customer and the uh, and that uh, law so that bank can recover that loan. So in the case of the recovery purpose, it is a very important. Because always the bank when the sanction or disburse the loan, bank always thinks that the, if the loan becomes NPA in the future, we should have a proper okay. ground to establish. Because tell me one thing. What is difference between demand loan and term loan? We generally say that this is DLTL. So what is DL and what is TL? So actually, uh, in the term loan, term loan is that uh, means that when the loan is totally disbursed in the customer's account, and customers need to pay this loan uh, uh, according to the uh, EMI, equity and monthly installments, like the very important the personal loan, housing loan, mortgage loan, all the term loan. But in the demand loan, like the, the uh, cash credit 
or the overdraft. These are the uh, these are the demand loan because some limit has been sanctioned and drawing power is decided. Whatever the uh, uh, that borrower using or utilizing that money on the basis of that, mm -hmm. then uh, the borrower needs to serve the interest. This is the basic difference. Okay, so these days bank is uh, uh, giving loans on PLR or base rate or MCLR or which rate. Which rate and, is and bank is using? Basically, it's a repo rate. Because basically, there's a three types of rate rate are there. Uh, but uh, but uh, like I am dealing the personal loan, but the personal loan bank is giving the fixed rate based on the repo. Okay. So in in, this, in arrangement later, there must be one board that MCLR plus. Yes. Right. Yes. Base rate plus, prime lending plus, up to which category? So bank is giving loan above MCLR or EBLR. So uh, MCLR is a rate which is decided by the uh, by the bank itself on the basis of their own uh, that operating cost and this thing. So banks is allowed to give uh, give any kind of uh, short term or long term funding uh, within that, uh, but uh, within that MCLR, not below that MCLR. Sir. So banks are using MCLR or EBLR these days. Uh, as per my uh, information, I think it's the MCLR, this, but I'm okay, not sure no, of that. Uh, Okay, one Parda Nasim even came to your counter. She is asking to open one saving account. Under which KYC category you will open her account? One Parda Nasim. She is not not uh, uh, opening her face. She wants to be open one account. Under which category of KYC? That is low risk, medium risk, or high, or high risk, whatever. Under which category of KYC? Under which category of account you will open her account? Um, so basically, I didn't face this situation. So, uh, okay, I, proper answer. Sir, I also want to ask from you, sir, because I are you aware of KYC uh, norms? What is KYC norms? Yes, sir. yes, sir. KYC is the, the basic norms whether that we need to know about our client. Why KYC so, was introduced? So, KYC, what is are introduced the reasons? Yes. So, uh, because uh, basically the customers are genuine or not, customers have any kind of uh, whether this authenticity to prove the authenticity of the customer's presence. That's a KYC is very important. Okay, I am having one saving account in South Indian Bank in your branch. So after how long I am again supposed to give my fresh OBD document to you? So actually, actually, it is basically the customer categorization, whether it is a low risk customer, medium risk customer, the high risk customers. So if the high risk customers say every two years is the KYC, uh, re KYC is uh, important. For the, the medium risk customers, as per our bank is a seven years, uh, and that uh, uh, low risk customers, they may use up the 10 years also. Okay, fine. One uh, thela wala, one uh, bhaji pala shop, want to mm -hmm. take a loan of rupees one lakh. Hmm. Under mudra, so which segment of mudra you will offer him a loan, and what is the mudra scheme? So mudra scheme is uh, basically is introduced by the government of India as a, uh, to refinance uh, the uh, micro and small uh, uh, enterprises. It's a refinance so, or finance? Uh, Finance. Okay. What is the full form of mudra? Uh, a micro unit uh, development refinancing agency, sir, actually. Mm. Okay. A micro development refinancing agency. Okay. He wants to take a loan of rupees 1 lakh. So under which category of mudra you will be offering him 1 lakh rupees loan? As uh, so I know that there are three categories, the Sisho, Kishore, and Tarun. Uh, but uh, this three uh, limit I'm not right now aware. So how much for the Sisho and Kishore and Tarun? Uh, this basically okay. three categories. What is PM Sonidhi loan? 
प्रधानमंत्री शो ना दीजिए सॉरी सर नॉट टेलीकॉल एट दैट टाइम Have you ever heard this type of loan announcing yes. on television announced announced by prime minister? Yes, sir. Yes, I heard. After yes, COVID, yes. after post COVID, this loan was hmm. famous. To whom we are offering these PM Swanidhi loan? The name of the loan itself is an identification to whom we are offering. That is PM. Then after Swanidhi. Ah. Uh... Is a say self help group or okay? Like, what is self help group? What is self help group? Self help group is a basically a group of women uh, or uh, to okay. I uh, mean, so if you are a field officer in any of the village, twelve uh, <laughs> male members came to you and they want to open one S S G account. Will you not open? So actually, I am not a, any practical work in this this self help group or this thing, sir. So I am okay. not aware yeah. of that question, sir. Okay, then I think you must have gone through or heard about N R L M project. What is the N R L M? That is National Rural Livelihood so, Mission. Livelihood Mission. Right. Okay, you are op- you are working as a field officer. The accountant was on leave. You were the in charge of the branch. The customer came with one uh, lakh fifty thousand rupees in his hand. He want to save his tax under section eighty C of income tax. So, what are the products you are going to offer to the customers? So, uh, if you see, and if and so if you see, the insurance products are there because they get that uh, deduction up to one point five lakhs in that uh, section, sir. Uh, this is life insurance made with life insurance or the health insurance. It is coming under the if you see, sir. So this uh, product I may offer, sir. Okay, health insurance is it a part of ATC? Are you sure? No, sir. It is a comes on ATD, sir. Okay. What is ECS then? If you are taking, if you are giving loan, you must uh, be getting the signature of the customer on ECS form. Yes, sir. Is ECS is is uh, ECS mandate is compulsory on these days? Yes, sir. ECS mandate is very much compulsory, sir. Because sometimes we check that uh, uh, so standing instruction or the ECS mandate, we need to take the signature from the customer. Because uh, if the customer uh, that he is not paying his the EMI, whatever the equity EMI, then bank can send the notice to the customer. What is because EMI? Bank, what is EMI? Equity, equity monthly installments. Okay. Bank can bank can send the notice to the customer. And uh, as per the section NI Act of 138, then you can take the action also against the customer. Sir. Okay, fine. Thank you, Prasan. Why, brother? Why did you make such a mistake? Ah? Last day was okay. Your answers were all right. Today, we have come to a lot of tension. What? No, no, sir. I don't know what. आपने वन थर्टी एट सेक्शन कहा उठा के लाया क्या बताओ मेरे को क्या है वन थर्टी एट अगर कस्टमर पैसा नहीं देता है तो वन थर्टी एट सेक्शन विल ओनली बी इम्पोज इन केस ऑफ चेक इज बाउंड नॉट इन केस ऑफ एस आई और ईसीएस और नैच इफ दीज इफ दीज मैंडेट आर बाउंस The section applicable of NI Act is section number twenty-five. Okay. Yes. One thirty-eight of NI section only in case of the instrument check which bounce. is check is bounds. Clear. No. Then doubt. after I ask about ATC health insurance is not the part of ATC. Hmm hmm hmm. Lapeto mat yar. जब मैं यहाँ पर समझ जाता हूँ तो वहाँ पर तो बोलोगे वो समझ जाएंगे. तो उनको बोलो आप टैक्स में एफडी कर सकते हैं आप पीपीएफ अकाउंट में डाल सकते हैं आप इंश्योरेंस कर सकते हैं आप एटी आप सुकन्या समृद्धि अकाउंट में डाल सकते हैं सब में डेढ़ लाख तक का एटीसी का बेनिफिट है ना वो आपको बोलना पड़ेगा 
एस एच जी अकाउंट एस एच जी अकाउंट हम फोकस करते हैं फीमेल मेंबर पे बट हम अगर चाहें तो मेल मेंबर के भी खोल सकते हैं द डिफरेंस इज ओनली कि अगर मेल मेंबर के एस एच जी है तो उसमें कोई सब्सिडी नहीं आएगी अगर फीमेल मेंबर के हैं तो सब्सिडी आएगी जो एनआर एल एम की सब्सिडी होती है वो फीमेल के केस में आएगी मेल के केस में नहीं आएगी लेकिन दस या उससे ज्यादा अगर मेल मेंबर है कोई एक कलेक्टिव कोई बिजनेस की शुरुआत करना चाहते हैं दे वॉन्ट टू ओपन वन एस एच जी अकाउंट वी कैन ठीक है पीएम स्वनिधि लोन मो मो सबसे ज्यादा जो आज के दिन में अगर कोई लोन फेमस है पोस्ट कोविड वो है पीएम स्वनिधि हम उन भाजी पाला जो सब्जी बेचते हैं ना ठेला वाला पे हम उनको वो लोन देते हैं जो सब्जी बेचते हैं द अमाउंट इज टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज और अगर उन्होंने एक साल के अंदर वो वापस कर दिया तो देन आफ्टर सेकेंड डोज ऑफ पीएम स्वनिधि ऑफ रुपीज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड विदाउट एनी कोलेक्ट्रल विदाउट एनी अंडरटेकिंग पीएम स्वनिधि ओनली टू ओनली टू वेजिटेबल वेंडर्स फ्रूट वेंडर्स स्ट्रीट पे जो भी अपना ठेला लगाते हैं ठीक है मुद्रा लोन आपने फुल फॉर्म तो सही बताया लेकिन जब मैंने आपसे बोला कि रीफाइनेंस और फाइनेंस उस समय आपको अपने आंसर पे ही कॉन्स्टेंट रहना चाहिए दैट इज कॉल्ड रीफाइनेंस मुद्रा हालांकि फुल फॉर्म आपने सही बताया है द थ्री कैटेगरी ऑफ मुद्रा वो भी आपने सही बताया कि शिशु किशोर और तरुण है अप टू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड शिशु के सेगमेंट के अंदर देते हैं अप टू फाइव लाख हम किशोर के अंदर में देते हैं और अप टू टेन लाख जो मुद्रा का मैक्सिमम लिमिट है और जिसमें सीजीएफएमयू का कवर मिलता है वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है आप सीजीटी एस एम ई सी जी एफ एम यू जरूर देख के जाए ये दो ऐसे कवरेज है इंश्योरेंस के जो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है तो जो भी एस बी एफ है ना एस बी एफ आई थिंक आप जानते होंगे स्मॉल बिजनेस फाइनेंस तो मुद्रा के जो भी लोन होते हैं वो सी जी एफ एम यू के द्वारा गारंटेड होते हैं कि अगर लोन एन पी ए हो गया तो हमें यहाँ से पैसा मिल जाएगा और तरुण में हम 10 लाख रुपए तक का जो मुद्रा की अपर लिमिट है 10 लाख उसके तहत हम लोन देते हैं मैंने आपसे पूछा था केवाईसी आपने लो रिस्क मीडियम रिस्क और हाई रिस्क तो सही बताया लेकिन ईयर में क्यों गलत बता दिया मेरे को आपने फॉर लो रिस्क कस्टमर द ईयर इज टेन फॉर मीडियम रिस्क इट्स नॉट सेवन इट्स एट ईयर्स ठीक है तो आपने सेवन इयर्स बोला था बाकी तो आपने सही बोला लेकिन मीडियम रिस्क के लिए एट इयर्स है हाई रिस्क के लिए अगर एच एन आई कस्टमर है पॉलिटिशियन है है ना पॉलिटिकल इंफ्लुएंस कस्टमर है तो उनके लिए टू इयर्स है ठीक है बट फॉर मीडियम रिस्क इज नॉट सेवन इयर्स सेवन इयर्स इन केस ऑफ ओनली एविडेंस अगर कोई कस्टमर हमारे साथ मतलब सात सालों तक नहीं आता है तो हम उसको डिसीज मानते हैं बिलो वन लैक दैट इज ओनली कम्स अंडर एविडेंस एक्ट है ना Yes, उसके बाद it. मैंने एमसीएलआर और ईबीएलआर पूछा देर इज नो लोन ग्रांटेड ऑन एमसीएलआर सारे एमसीएलआर बंद हो चुके हैं और सारे के सारे लोन प्रोडक्ट ईबीएलआर पे आ चुके हैं जो विच इज लिंक टू रेपो एमसीएलआर क्या है ना बैंक का खुद का रेट होता है अभी आरबीआई के कहने के आधार पे ईबीएलआर पे सब स्विच हो गए हैं दो से ही दैट इज एक्सटर्नल बैंक मार्क लेंडिंग रेट पहले एमसीएलआर था मार्जिनल कॉस्ट लेंडिंग रेट आज के रेट में ये EBLR हो गया एक्सटर्नल बेंच मार्क लेंडिंग रेट जैसे ही रेपो रिवर्स रेपो घटेगा बढ़ेगा उसके आधार पे आपके जो भी फ्लोटिंग रेट है वो चेंज हो जाएंगे आपसे मैंने पूछा ECS ECS बंद हो चुका है प्रीतम साहब ECS की जगह जो ECS की तरह ही हमने मैंडेट लाया है उसका नाम है नैच ठीक है नेशनल ऑटोमेटेड क्लियरिंग हाउस क्लियरिंग हाउस The मैंडेट इज सेम ओनली द नेम इज डिफरेंट ईसीएस बंद हो चुका है दो हजार सत्रह जब हमने जीएसटी लाया था कनाडा का मॉडल उसी समय हमने ईसीएस के मॉडल को बंद कर दिया फॉर्म भी अभी आप देखिएगा तो नैच मैंडेट आपको दिखता होगा है ना और से क्यों कलेक्ट करता है मैंने जो आंसर दिया वो क्या सही है Means why we need take signature in that mandate form? बताता हूं मैं उसके बाद मैंने आपसे पूछा था कार लोन का वेरिफिकेशन जहां जहां आपने गलती की उन चीजों को मैं बताया था फिर आपके पास जो भी क्वेश्चन होगा पूछ लीजिएगा मैंने आपसे पूछा था कार लोन का पोस्ट सेंक्शन वेरिफिकेशन आपने बोला कि हम आरसी या जो भी आपका इंश्योरेंस का ये है वो हम अपने सिस्टम में डालने के लिए मंगवाते हैं नो हम पोस्ट सेंक्शन इंस्पेक्शन वैक्सीना करते हैं 
कस्टमर इंश्योरेंस आरसी बुक तो ला के देगा नहीं वो तो आरसी बुक उसके पास तीस चालीस दिनों के बाद आते हैं आरटीओ से है ना लेकिन हम क्यों बोलते हैं जैसे आपने गाड़ी ले लिया तो गाड़ी लेके आओ बोलते हैं कि नहीं बोलते हैं हाँ बोलते सर जनरली हमें क्या करना पड़ता है वो जो कार के आप बोनट खोलेंगे ना या सीट के नीचे उसमें उसका चेचिस नंबर लिखा होता है वी हैव टू मैच द चेचिस नंबर विथ इंश्योरेंस पॉलिसी एंड डिलीवरी नोट जो भी जिस शोरूम ने दिया है ना उसमें वो चेचिस नंबर लिख के देता है तो हमें मैच करना है कि वो चेचिस नंबर का कार हमारे पास मौजूद है या नहीं दैट्स वाई हम कार को अपने पास बुलाते हैं पोस्ट सेंशन की कि जो डिसबर्समेंट हुआ है वो जेन्यून है फेक डिसबर्समेंट नहीं है ठीक है